parents used to wish the day away, you know? Um, it didn't want to exist, really. It's like you're living in a hell, and when you're using drugs, all you can think about is, oh, God, how am I going to make it? I just hit a brick wall completely in every aspect. I was doing drugs. I wasn't happy at all. I was lying to myself all the time, lying to everybody about my life, you know, just hiding. Scared, sad, unhappy. And what had you lost? I'd lost my son and I'd lost my dream. Well, I had my son to think about, you know. Um, he's with his dad, living with his dad. And I was only seeing him um, supervised contact with my mother once a fortnight. And it just caused me so much grief that I couldn't really be the mother that I was. I was 19, I did live stream. And then when I was about 24, I did Anthony Robbins. And they were great. I saw him in Sydney and I did the three-day thing. And I remember walking away from there going, wow, I feel amazing. And, and, but I lost it. You know, like I couldn't keep it. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't focus it. I couldn't, it didn't stay with me. And, but having my winner's Bible beside my bed every night, I know that I can go to bed, have a good sleep. I don't have to worry and toss and turn and worry about all my things that are going on. I mean, even through the day, my mind doesn't tick over about all the things I, I'm missing and don't have. Um, as far as my son goes, I'm not worried all the time. I'm feeling happy all the time because every morning when I wake up, my winner's Bible's there. And everything that I know that I need to achieve and that I want and that I'm doing, it's right there. I've got like my personal coach every morning who's there to grab me every morning and go, hey, this is what we're doing. Don't drop the ball. This is what's happening. It's so easy to just, you know.